Experts are talking about one of the hottest summers in history. To discuss this further, I'm joined now by a European expert on the climate change. Hello there, is anyone can hear me? Is this a temporary event? Thanks for joining us here on Euronews now, Gianmir Sanino. Uh, is this a temporary event or rather a long-term warning resulting in permanent changes? Actually, this is a sort of extreme event. And this extreme event is mostly, most probably due to the weakening of a polar jet stream. The polar jet stream is a sort of, let's say, uh, very fast air blowing at approximately 15 kilometers above us in the troposphere. And uh, this jet stream is weakening a lot in the last weeks. That means that the uh, air pressure in some area of our planet, that is the, the area in the north hemisphere between 45, 60 degrees north are permanently uh, f uh, in just uh, some area of our planet. That means high pressure that is permanent for three, four weeks in just one place. This is what is happening. And if we see also the temperature, the uh, sea surface sea temperature in the ocean, we see also that this, this temperature is increasing. So it's anomaly hot the ocean in this period. So this is an extreme event, but this extreme event is for sure related to the climate change. But which countries are the most affected here and, and, and why do you think? The, actually, uh, as I said before, this is mostly due to the jet stream. The jet stream is this river of air that is just uh, in the middle high latitude. So all the, the countries that are just in the Northern Hemisphere and are between, uh, let's say, 15, 60, 65 degree north can be affected by this, uh, let's say, uh, weakening of the polar jet stream. You see, so if, if this does seem to be, or, or let me ask you a question, do you think this is a temporary or this is this a long term trend that we're experiencing right now? Actually, this is an extreme event. And if we see in the past, we had something similar in the 1976. So sometimes we can have this kind of event. But what we know that in the future, if we don't do nothing to mitigate the climate change, this kind of event, event uh, could be much more frequent and also much more severe. That means we higher temperature and that the same event can last for more and more days than in the past. Okay, and so, you know, we, we say this is an extreme event. We've seen in the last week a wildfires breaking out in Sweden. Is that an example of something that we can now expect to happen in the future? Yes, I mean, if we don't do nothing, I mean, this kind of uh, extreme events can appear with much more, let's say, um, uh, frequency. 